as you know, Walt was a, a very fast walker, and uh, as he would go around the park with his guests, sometimes uh, they couldn't quite keep up with him. Also, at the same time, if he slowed down, then a guest would stop and want an autograph, and you can't be rude and chase everybody off. So he asked, uh, what could we do with a vehicle that he could drive it on the sidewalks, that it'd be safe and it'd be in character for the park, and that he could uh, take three guests with him. And I immediately thought of a uh, 1903 um, curved dash Oldsmobile, we had the little curved front, a uh, very simple little body, be quite easy to build, and it would be uh, electric, and it would have a, a little tiller um, bar, which was which was correct for that that car in that year. So we built four of them, and by golly, Walt fell in love with those cars because now he could have uh, important guests with him. Uh, you know, people like the Shah of Iran and the, and uh, Nehru from India, right. and he could drive the car, and when he would be in the car people would not approach him for an autograph. So the car uh, fulfilled this purpose of, I want to carry the guests, but I don't want to be rude and tell people I can't really stop and do an autograph. So all the four cars, I got to design the entire thing, pick out all the colors for them. We have two at Disneyland today and two are down in Walt Disney World still today. And they use them for kind of a little executive VIP things. I designed the car, uh, in early 1960 and in those days our projects moved very very fast we didn't have any project management we had no budget people uh, I was hundred percent in charge I would make most all the drawings myself and other draftsmen would help me and we would immediately start building it in the shop uh, we moved at an incredible speeds those days we got those cars done I think about four to four to four and a half months somewhere in there because it moved wow. very quickly you know, the body was all aluminum, right. and the uh, welding shop was right, right out in front of the machine shop. And we had a really neat welder there who uh, loved to weld aluminum. So uh, he was very, very good about going really fast, welding all four cars together, and showing me the things next time to do a little simpler to do with aluminum welding. And then the big thing was we had big springs. I had to go to a spring company and get the springs built. Right. We had a lot of little parts that were castings, uh, steel castings and uh, brass castings. We had a pattern shop upstairs in the shop. So I could make a sketch or a drawing. We could make the pattern and then we just sent it downtown and get, um, we had foundries in LA in those days, you know. So not everything was produced there on the lot. In the shop. Oh, well, no. When you're when you're building things, you you all your suppliers that you want you go buy the parts. Like, right. I wanted a certain kind of wheel, so I went to the local uh, motorcycle racing shop and I got some uh, Italian Idol Churchill uh, racing wheels, which were just for you know you buy those. I made a drawing for the hub, and then I went to another shop and I bought spokes, you know, so we could l lace them up. Uh, the only store bought auto part that we had was a, a little steering rod end off of a Renault, which was just, just about the right size. But everything else was basically custom built design parts, which uh, normally you wouldn't do, but since that was going to be Walt's car, uh, I was going to do it my way and make it completely accurate for that for that period of time. 1903. 1903, yeah.